Hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Yoga with Cheryl. Thanks for joining me. For those that have joined me before, thanks for coming back. For those of you who are new, thanks for finding me. Today's practice is a practice about helping to open up the blocked energy channels that might be contributing to the inability to set appropriate healthy boundaries for ourselves. And I'm not saying that this is a cure-all or a fix-all, but it can certainly help support you if this is indeed something that you're working on. So before we begin today, I just invite you to close your eyes. Wherever you're at, taking a comfortable seat, be that in a chair or on the floor. And as you take your seat, notice if your back is bothering you. And if it is, please prop yourself up on a cushion such as I am. I've just grabbed a cushion from my patio. Or perhaps sitting a little more forward. The geese just landed and startled me. Or perhaps sitting a little more forward on your cushion. And then return to closing your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I invite you to start to turn inwards, in towards your breath. And just noticing what is your breath doing right now? Where are you feeling this in your body? And letting go of any, oh, I should be feeling it here or there, just noticing right now bringing attention to the ability to simply notice. Now as you're noticing this, begin to bring your awareness little bit more into the breath, noticing where it begins in your nostrils and taking it deeper down into your lungs. So intentionally, perhaps absorbing more breath, more oxygen and more prana by enhancing the ability, the natural ability of the lungs to expand as you breathe in and contract as you breathe out. And if it feels like you're forcing and you're getting lightheaded, calm down. Allow this to be easy and steady, the sense of calm coming into this particular portion of the practice. And as you're paying attention to this ingoing breath and the outgoing breath, be sure to notice that there's a sense of the belly expanding as you breathe in the rib cage expanding as you breathe in and gently contracting as you breathe out. Of course our spine is being allowed to find its natural curves, its dignified upward reaching through the crown and a rooting through the sitting bones. And begin to bring your breath down into almost as if you could breathe into your lower body. And as you breathe into your lower body, you begin to sense into its natural weight. The weight of the feet, the ankles, the legs, the weight of the pelvis. And recognizing that we need to be connected to our ability to feel grounded and stable, to make appropriate decisions for ourselves. 
And this grounding and stability can be represented by the weight of the lower half of our body. Noticing how it stabilizes us in order for us to rise up and out. So it's not holding us back, it's simply rooting us in ourselves with the ability to evolve and expand and grow. It might help you to visualize the lower body, especially originating from the area of Muladhara Chakra, your root chakra, located right at the base of your torso in the area of the perineum. As you come into that location with your mind, your internal gaze, See if you can feel as if you're breathing into this energy center. Of course, you're breathing through your lungs, but the idea of bringing the awareness down to that energy center like we're invigorating it, drawing prana into this area. See if you can begin to gently feel the root chakra expanding. That vibrant red color becoming more enhanced. Connecting to the sense of the stability that is within you. Remembering that everything that you are seeking is already within. And with the awareness remaining in the root area, saying these words of empowerment to yourself, I feel grounded and stable. I feel grounded and stable. I feel grounded and stable. Feeling the openness and the power of this energy center located in the area of the perineum. You might even be able to perceive this as a slight tingling or pressure in this part of your body. a recognition of its arousal. Keeping your attention in this area, I invite you to lengthen your legs out in front of you. I'm going to come off of my cushion. With the legs extended forward, if this aggravates your back, please put a cushion beneath your knees. I 
allow your pelvis to hinge over your thigh bones as you plant your hands on your thighs. And if your awareness left the area of Muladhara, please bring it back there. Continuing to keep your hands either on your thighs or if the body is receptive, to walk your fingers down towards your ankles or your toes. And for the next few minutes, remaining in this posture with ease, keeping your attention on the area of Muladhara Chakra, located at the base of your torso. As we practice, we do so with ease, no force. Let go of any idea of achieving. And instead, consider yourself like an antenna, receiving what the universe has to offer, being open to the possibility of change if this is what you wish for. Feel the strength within emanating from the base of your torso. If the mind wanders away, bring it back to this area or perhaps use the color red as your focal point. Some of you may prefer to use the mantra, I am strong, I am stable, I am grounded. Allow the breath to be fluid and even. Muladhara. Focus the mind. Try to avoid any unnecessary fidgeting. Learn to control the mind. Bring it into the area of focus. 30 more seconds focusing on Muladhara Chakra. Keeping your attention on Muladhara, begin to slowly walk your hands back up your legs. 
and just let them rest on the space behind your back. Fingers can point in or out. Noticing the effects of arousing Muladhara Chakra. Notice an enhanced energizing of the legs as a result of this activation. And a deeper connection to our sense of stability a stable body, and a stable mind. Knowing that this ability, or this stability, is available to us to help us make healthy decisions and create healthy boundaries in our relationships. Come to seated once again, whatever is comfortable for you. Move slowly so as not to disturb or lose focus. Getting comfortable once again and closing your eyes. Now shift your attention to the area of your navel. It's as if you're breathing in and out of the navel center. And we'll call this Manipura Chakra. The third main energy center in the being. And as you keep your awareness in the area of your navel, just outside of the physical body, see if you can feel any sense of vibration or aliveness. Breathing into the navel area. And as you breathe into this area, you might find it helpful to envision the bright yellow like a sun. Our navel center is associated with our ability to have courage and willpower. If you feel as if you're lacking in this area, it may be beneficial to focus on it more often. Continuing to breathe into the area of your navel. Feeling this bright yellow heat like the sun. Our first chakra was related to the element of earth, and this one is aligned with the sun. See or feel the energy of the sun, Surya, in the area of your navel. And perhaps allowing that yellow warmth to invade your body, to flood your body with its power, its strength.
tapping into your ability that is within to be courageous and to have the willpower you need to make more challenging choices. And this is supported also by the energy of the earth feeling stable in that decision making. Keeping your attention on the area of the navel, I invite you to roll over onto your belly. Again, moving slowly so as not to disturb the focus. Feeling the navel connected to the earth energy Begin to draw your heels in towards your glutes. Reaching your hands for your ankles, and it might look like this. If the ability to hold your ankles is there, please do so and press the ankles towards the hands. Keep your attention on the area of your navel. Allow it to draw up and away from the earth to protect your back. And if it's available, elevate your toes. If this posture is not available or any of the postures are not available to you, you simply visualize yourself doing them. Take good care of your back. It's never meant to hurt. Continue pressing your feet into your hands as you open your chest. Keep your attention focused on the area of your navel. Remember that you have the courage and the willpower to succeed. Keeping your attention there, begin to slowly lower down. We'll repeat this three times. Release the feet and either let your cheek rest or support your forehead. Pause for about 15 seconds, keeping your attention on the area of your navel. If you need to, gently sway your ankles, your knees side to side. Once again, draw the navel away from the earth. Draw the heels towards the glutes. Keep your knees approximately hip width apart. Begin to reach your hands back for your ankles. It may look like this, or you may place your hands on the ankles. Press the feet into the hands as you lift, focusing on the area of your belly button. Use the glutes as well. and release slowly. A 15 second break, but focus on Manipura Chakra. Drawing on that willpower and the courage, completing our third and final round, engaging the abdominals engaging your glutes, begin to draw the knees, bending the knees, feet towards the glutes, reaching back for your ankles, one third and final time, kicking the feet up to the sky, open your heart. Notice here how we're connected to the earth, we're energizing our navel center, and we're beginning to open our chest for the heart that comes next.
10 more seconds. And slowly release. Let your toes flop in and the heels flop out. Slowly bend your knees and let your knees rock side to side and the feet rock side to side. Release your feet back down to the floor. Pressing, pressing your hands underneath your shoulders, begin to slowly press yourself up and back into the shape of child's pose, balasana. You may rest your belly on your thighs or in the space between your legs. Big toes can touch, but we don't want them to cross. Drawing the sitting bones back slowly, taking good care of your back. Begin to fold forward. Begin to shift your attention into the area of your heart. As we bow down to the earth, using the courage to take what the universe has to offer with a sense of open-heartedness. And begin to make your way back up to seated, please. Slowly transitioning, taking a comfortable seat again. A dignified seat, an elevated heart, relaxed shoulders. Allowing the awareness to rest in the area of the center of your chest. Our heart plexus, Anahata Chakra. As you bring your awareness into this area, imagine the breath breathing in and out of this space. Being infused with prana, that life-giving energy. Remember the breath is easeful. The most important part here is the focus of the mind on the area of your heart center. This energy center is associated with a vibrant emerald green like a jewel. And the element is air. Continuing to enhance and open this energy center. The center that for some of us may feel blocked either in listening to or responding to our own needs and perhaps sacrificing our own needs at the request and benefit of others. Pay attention to this energy center and recognize how the balance between feeling stable, having the courage and the willpower with a sense of compassion and open-heartedness, all of these elements required 
to establish healthy boundaries and make healthy choices for ourselves. Recognizing, especially if you are the individual that tends to always give of yourself and then feel depleted. If this is you, start to investigate, are you giving of yourself for X drinks X? Start to investigate if you're giving of yourself for perhaps reasons that may not be beneficial to you. You'll recognize this in yourself. If you find yourself in situations where you said yes and immediately regret it, you've overextended yourself, knowing that everything in the universe is energy. Every interaction we have is an exchange of energy. And when that comes out of balance, we feel it. When we have surpassed or not set healthy boundaries, we feel it in our being. We feel it in a sense of physical or emotional heaviness, anxiety, maybe even anger, a sense of being drained, sad. You rest in the area of your heart, feeling it expand for yourself and others. The heart space is associated with universal love and compassion. Recognize that your own self-worth and care of yourself is as important as the care of others. And that in order to be there for others, We must first be here for ourselves to have something to give. Continue breathing into the area of your heart as you extend your left arm up to the sky. Allow your thumb to come down towards the spine as the elbow points up. You may even assist that elbow coming closer towards your head. Make sure your neck stays in a neutral position. And now allow your right arm to reach around for your left fingertips. If you have a strap at home and your fingers don't quite touch, you might like to hold the strap between both of your hands. Otherwise, just gently hold your shirt or allow your fingers to come wherever they are close towards each other. In this pose, we're focusing more on the receptive energy in the area of our heart, the ability to receive, to receive love for ourselves. Receive the love of the universe. Receive the energy that carries this love. Allow yourself to be filled with it. Keeping your attention on the area of your heart, slowly releasing your arms. Notice the difference between the left and the right side of your chest.
and saying to yourself, I allow myself to receive all of the energy associated with the heart to enhance my compassion for myself. And now allow your right fingers to reach up as the thumb comes towards your spine and the elbow reaches to the sky. Keeping your neck in a neutral position, begin to reach your left fingers around, perhaps to engage with the right. Or gently hold your shirt or a strap between your hands. And bring your attention back to the area of your heart. In this case, we're focusing more on the giving area, energy, ability to give with compassion but with the balance of not putting ourselves into a state of depletion in order to give the compassion of others is not any more or any less important than the compassion you hold for yourself let's maintain a sense of balance in the heart center Breathing into the heart. Keeping your attention on the area of the heart, slowly release the arms. Let them rest, palms facing up on your thighs. Notice the feeling into the right side of your chest. Keeping your attention on the area of Anahata, the heart center, come back down onto your belly once again, slowly. Placing your elbows underneath your shoulders, separate your feet a comfortable distance apart. Press your palms down into your mat and then draw the mat towards you. Shift your heart space forward. If this aggravates your low back, engage your glutes slightly. Or alternatively, draw your elbows closer back towards your hips. Maybe rest your forehead on a block. And then become still. Keeping your attention focused on the center of your chest, feeling the balance in this energy center, the balance of compassion and love for yourself and others. Remember at any time, if you need to come out of a shape, you can do so and visualize yourself in the shape. Anahata, the element of air the color of emerald green. Perhaps beginning to notice that color becoming more vibrant. 
as it emanates from the center of your chest and infiltrates your entire being with this energy. Anahata. Keep your attention on the area of Anahata. 30 more seconds. Focus the mind on this energy center. Slowly, carefully, and very gently lower your body back down to the earth. Rest your forehead. Relax completely. Keep your attention on the area of your chest. And saying to yourself, when I make decisions, I will not sacrifice my own well-being. I will hold the compassion for myself with as much importance as the compassion for others. I will not sacrifice myself simply to please others. Feel the strength and the stability from your root chakra supporting you in this acclamation. Feel the strength of the willpower and courage of Manipura Chakra supporting you in your decisions. Feel the strength of the heart center to be compassionate in the process. Someone once said that when you make the right decision for you, it cannot be wrong for someone else. Keeping your attention on your heart, once again, draw yourself back into child's pose very slowly. Attention remains on Anahata Chakra. The energy center of universal love and compassion.
And begin to slowly bring yourself back to seated. And as you get comfortable in your seat, internal gaze, bring your awareness to the area of your throat. As we shift our awareness into this area, the area of the throat, Vishuddha Chakra. Connected to our ability to find our voice and speak our truth. Feeling the support of this chakra, of all of the chakras below it, Stable, courageous, and compassionate. Holding your attention in the area of your throat. Begin to feel as if you're breathing energy in and out of this area. Feel its openness. The color associated with this energy center is turquoise or aquamarine blue. Begin to feel that energy center expanding. Until your body feels invaded with this color and this energy infused, empowered. Empowered to speak truth with compassion and courage. Rooted in the knowing that you have this ability within yourself. The element associated with Vishuddha is ether, lighter than air. As you rest your awareness in this energy center, saying to yourself silently, I have the strength, the courage, and the compassion to speak my truth, to set healthy boundaries, I have the strength, the courage, and the compassion to speak my truth and set healthy boundaries. I have the strength, the courage, and the compassion to speak my truth and set healthy boundaries. Keeping your attention on the area of the throat, begin to extend your left leg forward crossing your right foot over top of the left knee. Energize the crown, reaching it up. And on the exhalation, slowly rotating your torso towards the inner edge of your right thigh, hold that knee in nice and close to help your spine remain tall. Begin to guide your chin over your back shoulder. 
keeping your attention here on the left side of your neck, on the left half of your throat. Keeping the mind in this energy center. Vishuddha. Purification, purity. Keep your attention on the left side of your throat. Allow your breath to be gentle, rhythmic. Focus the mind. Just shoot out 30 more seconds. Keeping your attention on Vishuddha. Slowly rotate your spine back to neutral. Release your leg down. Pause for a moment. Notice the difference between the left and the right side of your throat. Now shift your attention to the right side of your throat as you cross your left leg over top of your right. Inhale, get tall. We never rotate on a collapsed spine. And on the exhalation, begin to bring your chest towards the inner edge of your left knee. Hold that knee in nice and close. Get tall again as you breathe in. As you breathe out, guide your chin over your left shoulder. Perhaps close the eyes and return your attention to the right side of your throat, the right side of your neck. This is the yang side of the Shuddha. Really focused on the left, it's the ability to interpret and receive the world with clarity. As we focus on the right side, it's our ability to speak and give with clarity.
the shooter. You may feel your body bathed in the color of turquoise or aquamarine with the arousal of this energy center. Is Shuda. Slowly, keeping your attention on Vashuda as you rotate back to center. Releasing your legs. And gently move them. But keep your attention on your throat. Come back to a comfortable seat, be that in a chair or cross-legged on the ground. Keeping your attention on the area of your throat. Feeling the balanced effects in the area of the Shuddha. You've enhanced the ability to speak your truth with compassion, courage, and willpower, and being grounded in your being as you do so. The ability to speak and establish healthy boundaries for yourself so that you're no longer depleting your energy, no longer feeling at odds with the decisions that you've made or will make. Feeling into the strength and the opening of Vishuddha Chakra. Now shift your attention into the area of your forehead. sometimes referred to as our third eye center. As if you're breathing into the third eye, Ajna Chakra.
the color associated with this chakra is a very deep violet purple color. Focus closely on this area. Maybe you feel a light pressure, a pulsing, a vibration. As we focus on this area, recognize this as the ability to enhance our insight and our wisdom. Breathing into the third eye center. Begin to allow yourself to be bathed in violet, a rich purple color. Simply remaining focused on this energy center, relaxed yet focused. Being open to the possibility of increasing insight and wisdom. This insight and wisdom that already exists within, that we're simply being open to receiving, trusting, allowing it to guide our healthy decision making, to set appropriate and healthy boundaries. Ajna Chakra. May I be supported in the ability to make healthy and appropriate decisions to create and establish healthy boundaries in my relationships, my actions. May I be supported in my ability to create healthy boundaries to make healthy decisions for my physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being.
Now begin to slowly bring your bodies down on your back, moving slowly so as not to disturb that calm sense of energy. Extending your toes out to the corners of your mat or placing a pillow or a bolster behind your knees. Allow your palms to face open. Relax completely on the mat. Relax completely. Allow your body to be simultaneously soft. and heavy, supported by the earth. Soft and heavy. Relaxed into the support of the earth. Come into the area of your left leg, remaining still. Begin to relax your left leg from your toes up to the crease of your hip, slowly moving up, relaxing the left leg. And then notice the relaxation of your left leg. Now shift your awareness into your right leg and continue to relax from your right toes slowly up to your right hip crease. Relaxing, relaxing the right leg. And then notice the relaxation of the right leg. Notice the relaxation of both legs, both legs relaxed. Bring your awareness to your left fingers and continue to relax from your left fingers all the way up the crease at your left arm, all the way up to the shoulder, slowly relaxing the left arm, and noticing the relaxation of that left arm.
And bring the awareness into the tips of your right fingers and continue to relax from your right fingers slowly up to your right shoulder. Feeling the right arm relaxing. The right arm relaxed. And now noticing both arms relaxed. Noticed both legs and both arms completely relaxed. Bring your awareness into your pelvic area. Relax the muscles in the area of the perineum. Muscles all around the pelvis and the gluteal muscles. Feeling a deep relaxation in all the muscles in the area of the pelvis. Relax the abdominal muscles, the lower abdominal muscles, the middle and the upper. Relax the organs in the abdominal cavity. Relax the area of the chest and the shoulders. Relaxing all of the muscles and the organs in this area. Now relax the entirety of the back, whole back, whole back, moving from the low back to the upper back. Feeling the whole back relaxing. Feeling the relaxation of the entire torso. The arms and the legs. Relax the muscles of the throat and the neck, the whole circumference of the neck and the throat, feeling the relaxation in this area. And now relaxing all of the muscles of the face, beginning with the chin, the lips, and the tongue. Feel the tongue soften within the mouth. Feel the softening of the palate of the mouth. all around your teeth, 
the inner and the outer jaw relax. Relax the inner cheeks and the outer cheeks. All of the muscles around the nose. All of the muscles around the ears. Relax the muscles of the eyeballs. The eyelids. The eyebrows. Relax the muscles in your forehead and all along the scalp. Feeling all of the muscles in the area of the head relaxed. Whole body relaxed. Whole body relaxed and in integrating this practice. As you come back, before you move, notice the effects of this practice on your entire being. The physical body, Anamaya Kosha, the pranic or the energy body, Anamaya Kosha. Feel it and the effects of your mind. Your spirit. Feeling your calmness. Stability. Courage. And compassion. Feeling into the ability to speak your truth with wisdom. Knowing that everything that you need is within you. Take a deep breath into that knowing. Begin to slowly move your toes and your fingers. Continue adding movement into your body, your joints. And then coming to seated. inviting you to close your eyes. Feel the breath flowing naturally. our practice. May I recognize my inner strength, 
my stability, my courage, my compassion, the ability to speak my truth with wisdom, to support my choices, and to set and create boundaries that allow me to be healthy and well. Hmm. Thank you for joining me for this practice. Until next time, may you be well. Thank you.